Greetings, hello everyone. I hope everyone is doing well on this hot, warm, beautiful Monday, July 15th. Welcome to I Cozy Chalet. Welcome, welcome, come on in. I hope everyone is doing fine. I hope you checked out my last few videos. Yes, I was on another trip, they're very short. I didn't have, sorry, I didn't have time to do a lot of videotape them. I'm hoping I will next time. It's hard to do a lot of video if I'm going on a church trip, you know. It's, I'm very busy, I'm very busy. But anyway, I went to Indianapolis, Indiana. First time there, first time my church was there. We're starting to work there. And um, it was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful weekend. It was that Saturday and Sunday. Great turnout. 208 was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. It was awesome. Very successful. And of course, we're going to have to find a temple for them to begin to serve God in. But I'm going to get off of that. Maybe I'll talk about that another time, how my trip was. I am here today. Oh, and also I hope you looked at my community page because I posted a few pictures of me on the plane, uh, Gary get on the plane, and also of when we got off the plane and we got into Indianapolis, um, Indiana and we took some pictures of these uh, cars that were inside the airport which you know Indiana is known for the race cars and all that and one picture is very nice it was of a Miller special and then one was like a racing car so check out my community page but I got on here because I went to um, Dollar Corner Tree today and I just wanted to show you a few things that I got um, a few different things that um, I haven't picked up before I wanted to show you and some that I have picked up okay I'm trying to be short and not too long so let's go let's get started on this haul um, yes I picked up this it's a seven day peel organizer um, I take herb, uh, herbal supplements uh, and vitamins so um, I just wanted to get something to put them in and these little containers they, they, these will last me for a good while because I probably just really use one most a lot of times until I'm ready to use a different color that's all is I like the color of them and I'm gonna just use them for, especially when I go on my trip I can put my herbal um, supplements in there and my vitamins inside these container when I when I go on my trips so so this was nice so you guys um, if you have herbal supplement vitamins or even you know some people have medicine that takes you know this is a very nice uh, containers I just wanted you guys see for the Sun for the daytime and the moon for the night if you take day and night pills so that was nice um, next I purchased this and I didn't I don't use body wash on my body you know um, my body is very sensitive and um, I just and that's why it's only certain soaps I might use for my body and Lord willing I'm gonna start making my own soap and hopefully soon I can videotape that or just show you what type of soap I make and you know plan to sell but anyway I picked up this Pro Silk Body Pro Silk Body. That's the Dame brand. It's a moisturizing body wash. It's pink grapefruit, grapefruit and ginger. Pink grapefruit and ginger with natural extracts and essential oils. And what I'm gonna do is, y'all know I love my baths. I'm gonna pour this in my bath water. To make suds or whatever and I'm sure it's gonna smell good because of the pink grapefruit and ginger I do that sometimes sometimes I don't get like the bubble baths because some bubble baths I don't care too much for I like you know different stuff that you know might would be better for my body and this is um, a lot of natural extracts and essential oils and, and it definitely has ginger and grapefruit in it and you know so it's it was no animal testing so, you know, it's supposed to be pretty good. And I'm just going to use it in my bath water, you know, for 
my bubble baths. Y'all know I love my bubble baths. I take baths every day. I told you guys I wasn't kidding. <laughs> Took a nice hot one today after my trip. I tell you, I slept hard last night. I said I probably had jet lag. I needed to get up sooner than I did, but that's okay. I still got up at a decent time because I had to take care of some things this morning. Um, but anyway, back to the hall. <laughs> but I did take my hot bath this morning, which got me woke me up and got me moving. Next, I picked up the witch hazel solution. I always get this. It's by Lucky. Lucky Super Soft. That's the name brand. I always get this hazel, witch hazel. I like like witch hazel. You know, and I use it to cleanse my face. You know, um, from time to time. And I like it pretty much because I like, you know, solution that is not going to be harsh on my skin. Um, but so for some reason, I've been having an outbreak in my skin, you know, on my face. And I don't know why. I'm, I'm not sure if I ate something. I did eat something about over a month or so ago. Something different that I hadn't ate. It was gluten-free, but... It was something a little different, so I don't know if that was it. I got to figure out because I don't like the outbreaks like that. Um, okay, next, I y'all know I like this soap, Not By Natural Scents, Pure, Pure Castile Soap. And I got another bar, the Peppermint, because the last one I got it was, I, I thought I had other ones here, but I didn't. So the last one I got... It was only one, so I got another one. And I do love the peppermint. It smells so good, guys. It smells so good. And, of course, it is sulfate-free, paraben-free, dye-free, cruelty-free. Yes. Try to put good stuff on my skin and then, you know, when I can. I also got another soap. And I got one of these soap before. I don't know if you guys remember. It's back on one of my videos. Uh, but it's two types of it. But it's by the same name brand. Um, um, and the brand name is, I don't know if it's Bedu or Bidu. And this is Camel Milk White Gold of the Desert. It's Triple Mill Face and Body Bar Restore Calm. It's a nice looking um, cover. And this one is Camel Milk African Black Soap. It's another triple milled face and body bar. Clear, calm, purified. Nice looking soap. Nice looking cover on the soap. So I'm going to try this out. It really smells good. So I'm going to try it out, see how I like it. And I tried this. It's a family by name brand by fam, it's called Family Care. It's eye drops. It leaves red and irritated eyes. It's advanced. Uh, and it says compared to Visine. Advanced redness, irritation, relief, eye drops, active ingredients. So I tried that out for a dollar quarter, man, because the eye drops in other stores are so high now. And even Walmart. I, I'm not even going to get started with Walmart. Y'all know how I feel about that because Walmart has gotten ridiculous. Uh, so I'm going to try these out. And, okay, that's all the body and health stuff. So now, let's get started with, it's been a while since I purchased some of these, but let's get started. I got some socks. Um, mm, these are by Juncture, which y'all, if y'all shop at Dollar Tree, Dollar Quarter Tree, y'all know Juncture is a name brand that, Dollar Tree um, sells their stuff and it's two pair and look at it it has like palm trees this is pink with green palm trees and this is like flowers gray with flowers see these are very nice I love little designs like that and I decided to get some more, I would call 
booties we call them booties we always call them booties. and all these are about juncture guys um, and these are considered athletic socks low-cut socks and they have they're all black but they have um, gray in it in one pair blue and purple in one pair see I need to get some more black booty socks because of my other ones. I pretty much wore them out. I need I needed to because the other one I got I think was a little more tinier. I like these more because the other one I kind of wore out a little bit. I had them for a while though. And I have another pair of athletic, women's athletic low cut socks. And these are gray and of course they have the blue. They have lime green and pink in them. there all gray and see on the tip they got the same you know got the colors of the ones on the back and same as the black ones uh, same as the black ones and these are three in the pack three pairs so that's a good deal and another pair by juncture another athletic sauce these are all white except with blue pink in, I don't know, is that gray or black? I think it dark gray. And there's the white ones, and I need to get some more white ones. And they're through in a pack. Can't beat it. It's, it's a great price. And I got these for the first time. And not that I don't wear because I don't wear them, but I heard like when you fly a lot, because I'm flying a lot, I'm making sure I'm getting stuff I need, like for flying, you know, just so I can be comfortable and all that good stuff. And I picked these up. They're, they're uh, socks. And of course, they're by Juncture. Juncture. And they are compression knee high socks and i heard that sometimes people's legs or ankles or whatever can swell up from being in the air especially if you have a long flight um i you know the longest i flew was to europe and i love that i love the flight and i love traveling to europe and the trip, trip was beautiful and i didn't have any problems of swelling or anything not that i do but it's still good that to wear them you know so you don't have any problems so that's why I picked up some I know the sister from my church that flies with me that we travel together she wears them all the time because she has some problems sometimes with swelling if you know she fly too long or whatever so um, so I said well I'm gonna pick me up some um, I don't have the problem, but I must still wear them so I can be comfortable so I don't have that problem. So if anybody, you know, and you don't have to, it's not just for flying, it's for anybody that might have problems with swelling and vein problems in your legs and stuff, compression socks are good. So Dollar Quarter Tree has them, guys. So check them out. I got two pair. And it's only one pair, but I got two pair. And they're very nice. Very nice. Very nice looking. Um, and one last thing, guys, from the Dollar and Quarter Tree. And y'all know, mm -hmm, yeah, I did it. I did it again. The book section. <laughs> and I picked up this book. It's a hardback, of course. Y'all know I love my hardback. It's called We Are Inevitable by Gail Foreman. A New York Times bestselling author of If I Stay. I haven't seen that book in there, but I will check to see if it's in there. But it's a nice looking cover. And it is about, um, it says, even in the face of extinction, um, Life and love finds a way. Aaron Stein used to think books were miracles, but not anymore. Even though he spends his days working in his family's secondhand bookstore, the only book Aaron can bear to read is one about the demise of the dinosaurs. It's a, a predicament he understands all too well. Now that his brother and mom are gone and his friends have deserted him, leaving Aaron and his shambolic father alone in a motoring 
bookstore in that crusty mountain town where no one seems to read anymore. So when Aaron sees the opportunity to, opportunity to sell the store, he jumps at it, thinking this is the only way out. But he doesn't account for Chad, a best life bro with a wheelchair and way too much optimism, or the town's out of work lumberjacks taking on the failing shop as their pet project. And he certainly doesn't anticipate meeting Hannah, a beautiful, brave musician who might possibly be the kind of inedible he's been waiting for. All of them will help Aaron realize that destruction doesn't inev inevitably lead to extinction. Sometimes it leads to the creation of some of something entirely new. So it caught my eye. Even though y'all know I love hard books, but I always read to see what it's about. So I think it would be a good read. Yes. So that is the last thing I got from the Dollar Tree. So I thought I had a pretty good day today at the Dollar Tree. A pretty good haul. And one more thing to show you before I go. This is airport, airport purchases. <laughs> and I don't purchase nothing at the airport. Y'all know the airport prices are so high. It's ridiculous. But it's this, you know, sometimes you can look at it now and some people have stores inside the airport. And you might like some of this stuff. And it's this one woman... Well, this, this woman has her own shop, and she has an online shop too, but she's also inside the um, airport. And this is, I purchased this when we were leaving to go to in Indiana, and um, I thought it was very nice. She has a very nice sh shop. And her bookshop, her, I mean, her, her, well, it's a, she called it a bookshop, Drama Mama Bookshop. She doesn't really sell, like, books. She don't have, like, books. It's, it's a bookshop because she makes her own, like, um, calendars. She makes her own um, stationary books and all that type of stuff. You know, any type of books that you can use and everything. She makes those, and she make like, wooden wooden um wooden covers very nice looking stuff i mean she makes coasters it's a lot of stuff she has and a lot of wooden stuff and she makes she makes candles and i'm going to show you something else but i want to show you this this is called plot twist it's a soy wax candle four ounce and it says be good to yourself and it smells so good, I wish you could smell it, <laughs> but I know you can't, but it's called Plot Twist. I can't wait till I uh, fire it up, but it's by Drama Mama Bookshop, um, and I purchased that. I wanted to support her, um, so I was very happy with me, and the next thing I purchased, because y'all know I am a tea drinker and she has a few teas that she puts together that she makes and that um this one is called herbal infusion um immunity tea what is that plant can't tell what that is plant something but anyway immunity tea and I love the um, container she has. It's like a gas, glass container, and hit the top. And th what's in this tea is like uh, I think it's, it's ten of them in here. And the ingredients of the tea is elderberry, hibiscus, um, orange peel, peppermint, stinging, stinging nettle. Y'all know that is one of my favorite herbs herbal teas and lemon peel and what's the uh, Eshina Eshina Eshinaka Eshinaka I'm not sure how you pronounce that word I'm gonna figure it out because I heard that's a good tea it's E-C-H-I-N-A-C-E-A -E -E and that's all in one tea bag and see 
these are like herbal teas, like loose leaf teas, but she's got them in like a tea bag, which is nice. I don't really do too much. T I don't do two tea bags like that much anymore. I only do um, my loose leaf tea, and you know I have my um, little gadgets, my little tea gadgets that you know I put the tea in to put it in my cup. But I decided to try it because these are herbal teas, and she has them in a tea bag. And so I like every now and then I could pick up one of them to go and just drop in the cup, take with me. But yes. I purchased that and I'm gonna try that out tonight but that was it that I purchased from there and I was like I never really purchased nothing from the airport but I wanted to support this person so I'm definitely gonna go on her website and see what she has she might have things cheaper on her website than the airport I know she got to support herself and and I know the airport probably cost her much to be have a shop in there. But anyway, but that was an airport purchase <laughs> that I did. So that's it. That is my haul and my purchase from the airport. But that's all I have for today. I'm 20 minutes in. I was hoping it'd be short, but I hope you guys hang in there and watch the entire video but i'm gonna let you go um and as always never give up because god can deliver you from anything hold on to him trust in him with all your heart mind body soul and just believe believe in all your heart no matter how hard it gets trust in him hold on to him never let go and watch how god works love you guys i'm gonna let you go but i'll be back on to tell you a little bit about my trip or some other things but anyway i'm gonna let you go i love you guys take care stay cool and as always hang in there love you guys